preventing the Shang-Chi. He doesn't move the vision at all. But that means our hazmat will not tie. Oh, and he, the, 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 the Enchantress outplays herself. The hazmat does nothing. The best luckily ties the middle. Oh my goodness. And we take away the tiebreaker. Welcome back fellow HD enjoyers. I'm glad you are here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are going to take a look at Toxic Sarah. One of my favorite, favorite archetypes to play. It is just so much fun seeing those numbers drop. With Hazmat, you can win lanes where you don't even have cards. And that is a great feeling, right? That is amazing. And we are going to take a look at those games. Sarah, one of my favorite, favorite cards as well. Alongside Zabu, reducing the cost of 4 drops. We run a lot of 4 drops. Wong, Absorbing Man. Enchantress, which I just removed. And Shang-Chi, let's add her back. Just a quick fix here. Enchantress in the current meta is really good, actually. Because a lot of people run some greedy ongoing effects. And you want to counter those. I feel like Angela has to be one of the best 2 drops. Uh, Hit Monkey, you could argue for Hit Monkey in this list. As it would uh, synergize really well with Wong. And you can argue this deck is already pretty greedy with the Wong inclusion and the Absorbing Man inclusion. Doubling up on Hazmats and Absorbing Man and Wongs. So why not just run the Monkey as well? And that is a really good question. And if I were you and you own Monkey... Maybe swap out the lizard and put in the monkey and have some fun. So the all-star of this deck, of course, is Hazmat. And we will jump into some games and enjoy them. Exactly for this location, we run Scarlet Witch. So let's remove this one. It is the hub, we get something random, that's better than it happening. Ongoing effects are doubled there. Holy. We drop the Zabo in there. Next turn we are looking to drop Sarah in there. Of course we cannot do that. Next turn we will drop the Typhoid Mary into the vault here. That way we are set up in the vault. Typhoid Mary costing only two. It's kind of the old Zabu vibe here. Alright, so let's set up into the vault here. Typhoid Mary and Luke Cage coming down now. Typhoid Mary for my opponent as well. Um, we don't really need to... Do anything against Typhoid Mary here. I'm gonna drop uh, Sarah. We have Hazmat. Hazmat alone will reduce the vault location by free power. Our opponent would have to commit something else as well. He doesn't. Our opponent plays into the middle here. It is a vision, so he can move that into the vault. We draw the best. All right. So we can do a lot of stuff here. If our opponent plays something big, we can shank cheat here. Next up, we will drop some power into the middle here. That's a lot of power. We will drop the hazmat, so we should tie them the left. And we add 10 power to the middle and 5 power to the right. This could be enough, but I'm really interested in what my opponent plays here now. Might not be enough. Cosmo preventing the Shang-Chi. He doesn't move the vision at all. But that means our hazmat will not tie. Oh, and he, the, 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 the Enchantress outplays herself. The hazmat does nothing. The best luckily ties the middle. Oh my goodness. And we take away the tiebreaker. 
this could have gone always. The Cosmo, seeing the Cosmo here, almost, I mean, my, my heart almost dropped into my pants. Let me be very honest here. Because, of course, the tie here was no longer possible with the Hazmat. He didn't play anything big. He had no big ongoing effects. The Enchantress here, removing the negative ongoing from the Lizard, scared me to death as well. Luckily, the tiebreaker was big enough for us here. All right, we have Chen Sei. He's cool, cool, cool with the Swordmaster avatar. First location, Morak. That's quite all right with a Sarah Miracle list. Second location, Clintar is not that great for Sarah. We want some cards to stick around and be played early. So we are not a big fan of that. Iceman hitting Angela is also not that great for us. Bam! That location reveal makes things spicy now. We'll drop the Sarah. We couldn't. We can drop the Sarah into the Morak here. So what is the play? We can remove the negative ongoing of Typhoid Mary here, and we drop the Sarah into the Morag. I like that play. This way we have the most of our turn here. If our opponent just passes, the sunspot would grow by 8. That is a pretty big sunspot. Um, let's see here. We are adding 10 in the middle here. Removing a power left and right. But we will gain that back after the next turn. The good thing is we don't even need to draw the Luke cage here. Cosmo on the right into a green goblin on the left. All right, so... Ooh, we draw the Luke Cage anyways. All right, so we have to play into the Clintar. I think we play like this. Next turn, Typhoid Mary will have being converted to a sim symbiote and we can drop hazmat absorbing man on the turn after in the middle she hulk is safe there from the shang chi our opponent knows that he's really comfortable dropping it there so we we can have one more setup turn here One, two, three, four. I mean, we can just pass this turn. Our opponent keeps the priority here. And we draw Lizard on top of that. That's really good for us. So, what are we doing now? We play Hazmat into Absorbing Man. Into the Lizard here. Into the Bast there. I mean, arguably, we don't win this lane anyways. This would be enough to tie. And we add 7 here. So that means the Captain Marvel cannot really fly away anymore. So I think that is the play here. Yeah, let's go. Let's see the Serdak in action here. That is the final turn. Our opponent does nothing? What? How is it possible? Oh, he wanted to soak as much energy as possible onto the sunspot. Alright, so we tied the right here. We have a gigantic lead in the middle with 15. The sunspot soaked up all the energy. But he is still just way too small to win the tiebreaker here in any meaningful way. We take away another two cubes here. Uh, Sarah looking really strong. I have to admit, now that I've played a lot of uh, some games with this deck, I don't think that Bast is the right inclusion here. So we might swap Bast out here. Marble Mike with the Rock Avatar. Let's see here. We have Luke Cage, Typhoid Mary, Shang Chi, a really bad location. 
Hopefully we draw the Scarlet Witch. Ooh, that's that's not gonna prevent it. We're gonna set up Luke Cage in the middle here. Ebony Maw onto the worst location. Sadly, we did not draw the Scarlet Witch. And the Diablo space will probably nuke the raft. So let's drop some power into the Atelian here. There is Electro. This is for her. I'm pretty sure this is an Electro Ramp list with Sandman. Alright, now we get the Scarlet Witch after we shuffle everything away. The raft sticks around. Pretty sure this is our last turn of playing multiple cards here. So let's uh, get the value of that going right away. The Sandman would probably hit the middle here or the right. It is Leech. All right. Leech hitting the field. We transform the raft into Sokovia. We discard Enchantress. Our opponent discards Doctor Doom. That was really big for us. Luke Cage is already on the field. If we drop Wong here, we are at 7. And that means our opponent needs to float some mana. In the final turn, we might be able to surprise him here. No Doctor Doom. There might be an Odin coming. It is a Magneto in the middle with nothing to move. All right, and now we will do the final turn. I'm pretty sure he will not float enough mana on the left here. And we might have a real chance with Hazmat Absorbing Man. This is it. Uh, Absorbing Man is a great draw. We will buff up Angela. We will reduce a lot of his board. He has Pryo, so we get the most out of Hazmat Absorbing Man. If we win, it has to be these two cars. Let's see here. Odin in the middle. Pulling nothing. He will lose. Oh. Pulling Odin might be enough. But maybe it is not enough. We might tie the left here. Because another two power will get removed. I think he only floated one. And I think that's a win. It is a tie, sadly. Alright, so we tied this game. Um, it was pretty close. We would have won this game if Wong would have stayed here. Just saying. And our opponent had, was really, really lucky that he played the Odin on the Magneto. Yeah, he saved himself there out of a clutch situation. I'm pretty sure we had this game in our bag. Um, Sunspot soaking up the last mana was also clutch. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy the next one where we take a look at Hitmonkey. Hitmonkey might fit really, really amazingly into this list, but maybe he is too greedy. We will check that out into the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope you guys check out the next one. The next one will be right above me now. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a, an amazing day and Lenny out.